Lockett, daughter of Freda, grand voice of the Kibouac. Deep carmine red on oily black skin. A beacon of power and dominance. Hello there and welcome. In the first part of this project, I've made two rings based on the character Locket from Sam Fenner's upcoming book, The August Few. To put an awfully long story short, I was not happy with how they turned out. Especially the pattern of the white highlights with a thorn in my side, so I went back and did a few things differently. First off, I made another batch of red resin curlies, this time also using a brighter red pigment. I cut them into smaller pieces than last time and cast the whole bar without adding any white highlights. Looking at this cross section, you can see how much more tightly the curls are packed now. Then I made another stainless steel core and a fitting resin shell and glued the two together. So much for the summary. Not really that much difference from last time, aside from leaving out the white highlights. Now I have the half-finished ring clamped in an indexing head, which allows me to drill a series of 12 holes along the radius, one each 30 degrees. There's no deeper reason behind that number, it's just that I figured that 12 would look the best. Initially I wanted to base the number of holes on the number of tail tendrils Locket has, but she's got far too many of those. Then I cleaned the ring with brake cleaner and moved it over to the lathe for more space. I mixed up a small batch of pigment powders, this time adding a bit of grey in hopes that it would blend better with the rest of the ring. The highlights on the last ones were a little too bright. The gist of this technique is to fill up every hole with pigment powder and carefully drip super thin CA glue on it. Of course I instantly made a huge mess because at this time I didn't have these micro tips yet. Now credit where credit is due. This method wasn't solely my idea. A lot of inspiration came from a channel called Patrick Adair, who is a vastly superior craftsman and ringmaker. Observe and learn, they say. After spilling glue everywhere, grinding it down and patching up mistakes, the ring was ready for its final turn in the lathe and to be sanded and polished. I didn't bother filming that this time, this is supposed to be a short video after all, and I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. So, reveal. That looks much better. It was definitely the right decision to go a few extra steps here. There is an old German proverb, was lange währt, wird endlich gut, which essentially means something along the lines of, if it takes you long enough, it'll be good in the end. Now, uh, wow, well, this, uh, this took me a while to put together. I started in June for Freda's sakes. But oh well, you know how it goes. Life has a habit of getting in the way. For now, I bid you all farewell. There's a lot of work still to do, and Christmas is coming up, promising the release of a certain book that I need to get a hold of. I hope it's been entertaining. Cheers, and goodbye.